Alrighty. What's up, guys? Uh, OmniGamers1 here. Um, I guess this is episode 3. We left off. We're about to fight this boss. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. World 1 4. Bert the Bashful's Fort. Alright. Let's go. Alright, some more of the yellow eggs, so I don't have to do some of the work for that. Yeah, these buckets you have to try to hit on the corner so that way he'll drop some coins. Of course, we all know the whole get 100 coins, you get an extra life thing. Ah! There we go. Nice that they have a little supply here, get some extra coins. You can be a little lazy on your part here. Of course, this isn't really a boss, it's a mini boss, so. You'll know the boss because it'd be the very last thing you face at the end of the world, obviously. Alright, shy guys, don't want to touch those. Yeah, Yellow Yoshi always handles the uh, mini bosses, and then the blue one handles the main boss. You gotta be careful with these things, because. Ah. You see, if you. Just let one die, the other one will go crazy. Dang it. Ugh. You suck. It would it, suck if I die. Then again, there's some places where you die automatically from lava, so... I don't know. It wouldn't mean that you're bad, it's just that you're not too used to the controls. Which would still be an embarrassment on my part since I've played this game. Since I was like, what? Maybe... Ah, thinking. I'll do that later. Oh yeah, jump into the lava. No! <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Just died. First time. <clears throat> that wasn't very good. Alright, let's just go again. Nothing to worry about. Just It's just death. Death doesn't hurt anybody. I hope it doesn't. I don't know, if you've been through it and you've come back, you know, post in the comments, see how it was. <laughs> there we go. Random subject solved. Alright. If you guys never noticed, I like using Yoshi's ability to swallow things. <laughs> uh, a lot. Yes, and Sir Joke there. Sometimes I guess I just make it too. Ah. Ah. I know. One of the most infamous things about this game the baby crying. Oh, wow, that was lucky. Alright, get that stupid flower again. Yeah, the camera's a bit different on this one than it is on the SNES, too, so. Well, I don't know. Interesting subjects to talk about. Um, Goni. <laughs> you guys know about him? He's popular these days, I hear. I'm sure there's going to be some people with the way that the uh, image is formatted. It was like, I didn't know he was going to run for president. And that's just, that's America. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, got some stars. I'm just going to lose them right fast. Hope that's cool. Alright, keep on going. Falling doors, falling doors. Uh, question mark. I always want to hit those. And they're not to get you or anything. You can trust them. I don't want to waste the yellow one there. You see it over a pit of lava, and your egg is useful, like it's any other color than green, don't waste it. You want to get that coin or you want to get those stars. Those lava monsters. If you ever seen the cover of the original Yoshi's Island, or even the Game Boy Advance one, I guess, uh, that's the monster that's portrayed on it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, we got it. Oh, and this one was scary. I peed my pants when I saw it at first. Flowers. And cobwebs. Oh, my. Nope. <laughs> Keep on going, keep on going, use the key for the door, and let's get going. Ha! 
that rhymed. That's nice. Ah, these guys again. Screw it. These little mini doors, you know, go through them. Usually I would check out the entire area from start to finish to see what it would be like, to sort of scope it out. But I already know what's here. But it's mostly secret rooms, that's what they're going to be like. Pretty much like a Zelda rule applies here, to where if there's multiple enemies here and there really seems to be no purpose, just go ahead and kill all the enemies. You might get something. Like, I just got a flower. This guy's still here? Gotcha. Alright, let's get going. Another one. Get some more coins. I guess I'm full of health, dude. Nice. Alright, I guess. Yeah, I get some more coins. See if we can get another one. Sure, why not? Alright. Oh, voice. Hmm. <clears throat> so, you're still on the baby's side, Yoshi baby? Then get a load of this! Why not? I'll, I'll keep that voice. Ah, steroid dust. You gotta love it. Don't do drugs, kids. It's not good. Alright, so, Bert the Bashful, first boss figure. Just use the wall so we can get a coin from it. Lock it in place. Of course, you might want to try to hit him. Ooh, nice. Didn't know that. Alright. Oh, that hit him! Ooh. Yeah, little places to duck and hide. If you want to hit him directly, that's fine. That's that's what I did in my entire first play. Oh! No, I want to have full health! <laughs> yeah, so apparently he gets so embarrassed that he's naked and he dies. So embarrassed that he dies. Literally dies. Uh, I think I mentioned that he died. Ah, <laughs> uh, cause that stupid... Oh, I didn't... I missed a flower too? Dang it. Alright, well 87's not bad. It's better than the 77 I had on the stage before. Alright, three more hops. There we go. Alright, let's go and see if we can go through this next one real fast. One World 1-5. <laughs> hop, hop, donut lifts. Come on, talk to him. There are very dangerous donut lifts throughout the stage. They will fall shortly after you stand on them. Step lightly. We'll do, Magic Box. We'll do. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, they're not donuts, they're Cheerios. But I still thought they were edible, so I tried eating them with Yoshi. Alright, got it. Of course, if you, yeah, it's like you said, step lightly, otherwise if you stay on it, they will fall. That's why I haven't, I've been trying to avoid even standing on them at all. Oh, I hate these things. I can never stay balanced on them very well. Plus, there's always like something hidden like, like that. See? And it was always so hard. Got it. Got it. I'm probably going to say got it a lot just to let you guys know. Uh, I like that phrase. Nice background though. I never really paid attention to the background before. Of course, graphics weren't really too apparent to me when I was smaller. All I know is that they did impress me. Oh, I thought it would hit. But yeah, I really like the graphics in this game. I mean, I was trying to say earlier, this was a late SNES game, so... You know, they had some time to work on I think it released in... Oh! I think it released in, uh... 1995? Which it was, it was one of the last SNES games to really make a blow. I'm not saying that there are others, I mean, pretty much at the end of any system's uh, lifespan, a lot of good games will go unnoticed. I mean, that's, you can almost say that with almost any platform. But yeah, you just have to keep an eye open, because you might have that new console and everything, and that'd be all great and dandy, but I saw a cricket. And that might be all great and dandy. Because, you know, you are trying out a new console, but don't completely abandon the other one. It's going to have some good stuff on it. Like PlayStation 2. That had Okami near the end of its life. And it's my favorite game. Really, I, I bought the system because 
It was a video game about Japanese art style and a wolf. You'll get to know me better. I'm obsessed with other wolves. That's just how it is. No! Get it! Got it. Ah. There we go. And go. Come on, going this round. Ah. Oh well. On to brown, Yoshi. I'm gonna keep on going. Alright, 30, 20, and 5. Perfect score. Oh yeah. Perfection. Though it's not really perfect. Should I have 500, but whatever. Well guys, I'm going to try to make these episodes shorter, so I guess that'll be it. But, uh, you know, all that good stuff, you know, YouTube and all that. But, um, yeah, I guess uh, Omni Gamer is signing out. Till next time, guys.